Hi right, guys, welcome back to Football Manage 2018, the European Journeyman here at Malmo. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you something. I didn't realise there was a thing here. Look, short scouting focus. Um, there's a general focus, which is this, and there's also a short-term aim. So we can ask them to sort of search for a guy who could be a leader for us and has a certain ability. Did not know that. But that's that's happened now. It's probably a little bit late for us, um, but there we are. Now if we look at our schedule, we can see we've got three games left. We've got second place, twelfth place, and tenth place. Um, <laughs> we're eight points shy of safety, and there's only nine points available to us. I think this is a lost cause, but um, we'll find out after today's game. We do have a tough game ahead of us. Uh, Presper Burlick, uh, 47 points, second in the league. It's going to be a toughie. It's going to be a toughie. Let's go to the tactics real quick. Uh, we're going to go out of the same team that we had in the last game. Um, I've not changed anything here. Uh, I thought they'd done well against much stronger opposition. I say much stronger, inform opposition and opposition that were, you know, reasonably happy. Um, I want to have a quick look at something before we do go ahead. If we go to the schedule, look at this. Who played well? We're going to big up Rosencrantz. Um, Montero. Praise player. Uh, praise the last game. You were superb. I just need to GM up a little bit. I kind of didn't want to do that. And we're just going to praise his training level. And finally his conduct. Just get his morale a little bit higher. Who else played well? Martin Holm. There we go. So praise player's training level. Gone up a little bit. Praise his last game. He's gone up a bit more. He's on a fair bit now. Uh, praise conduct. Passionate. There we go. Slightly poor. Oh, he doesn't like he doesn't like the fact that I keep talking about his conduct. I've got to do something. And Backstrom. So we praise his training level. He's probably going to say something like, uh, "Oh no, no," he says. He's quite happy with that. Um, I thought he was going to sort of whinge about the level of. Um, training that we actually do the the intensity slash level and quality of it but he, he didn't he didn't that's good to see so we've got three players that got a bit g'd up here uh svensson we'll, we'll give him a little bit of a push as well i feel like the guy probably needs it uh your effort lovely oh no that's got worse shit last game so you was superb uh slightly poor we've got him back to where he was and conduct passionate commendable so not brilliant, but we've got them there. Anyway, let's get on to this game. It's just going to be the one game today uh, against Presper. Hopefully, it's going to be a win. It's going to be a win. Uh, so, Asarum's take on Vimmerby. Vimmerby are in fifth. Then Sales take on Hasselholm, uh, who are in sixth. And Gvambi are away to Rapper. Rapper, okay. Come on, Rapper. We need Rapper to win. Oh, we need these teams to fucking lose. All three of these teams need to lose all of their games. Otherwise, we're fucking done. Like kippers. All right, we're going to stick with control. Stick flexible. Everything else is fine. Let's submit the team. It's Peterson, or Pedersen, sorry, is struggling with match fitness. See? Well, it might not matter after today. It might not matter after today. Predicted a win for Presper. Great. Subdued atmosphere. Uh, we've won three of the last games. I think a, a calm. Nothing to lose. Uh, not as good as I thought it was going to be. They know that they've got to, they, they've got to perform. They know that they've got to perform. Just whether they will or not. And I don't, I don't have much faith in this team. I think if I keep telling them, I have faith in them. I have faith in them. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Don't. I don't have any faith in them whatsoever. Um, but as we said, I've learned a few things since we've been here regarding scouting. Um, so hopefully when we get to 
our next team because if we don't manage to get, well we're going to go to another team regardless but obviously if they if they do get relegated we haven't actually got a league to play in so we need to go somewhere else and find somewhere with a league oh scrumpy do like a bit of scrumpy oh lovely actually hmm really tart Right, so big hole throw from Backstrom to Lerper. Lerper to find Zadran, who finds Montero. Back on Leiden. Venson finds Hamidi. Hamidi finds Nissen. Nissen crosses it to Zadran. He finds Hamidi, who hits it at the keeper. Despite the fact there's a great big open area of the goal there. That is a severe, severe problem. I don't know if it's just this with this team. Or what? But I know a lot of people have complained about it. That was a good effort, but just didn't really find a mark at all. Weren't that far off, though. But yeah, I, I, I'm assuming that the people who have complained about the the finishing uh, are the same people who are doing what I'm doing and starting low level. I'm assuming that the teams higher up actually can put a ball past the keeper. And when I say put it past it, I mean put it in the net too, not in the stand. Right, well done, Holm. Can we do a bit more to get this ball away? I don't like where this ball is. Well done, back aligned. Back aligned with a little break. Digs it over to no one. He had time. He could have just waited. Instead, he panicked. All right, another cross from Borg. I say cross corner, obviously. Svensson clears it. Young finds it, or Jung. I don't know if it'd be Young or Jung. But Montero managed to nick the ball from Borg. Not much happening in this, is there, really? Let's have a push forward. Holm with a free kick. Finds Zadran with a shitty header. But Montero picks up the loose ball. Finds back of Leiden with another weird header. Why would you do a looping header like that? Eskilsson obviously manages to pick up that ball. And they've got a counter-attack here. Young running down that left flank. Crosses it. Gunga finds it, though. Clears it. Good defensive play. Good defensive play. What we'd like to see. I want to see goals. Hamidi gives the ball away. No, oh, no. Rinmo. Rinmo. Of course he fucking puts it away. Of course he fucking puts it away. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think the writing might be on the wall here. So, nil nil. Nil nil. Bambi are losing 4-0. We need, to, we need to turn this around. We need to turn this around, boys. And girls. <laughs> so. What are we looking like? The back line. What the fuck is that? Why can't you just... No communication from our midfielders there. The ball gets given away to Rindamo again, the goal scorer, who skins our defender. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, dear God. Right. Let's try it. Well, let's try attacking. What else can we do? Um, team's looking pretty average. Media's not had a good game. It's need to do something to turn us around if we want to stay stay up here. Backstrom picks up the loose ball. It's oh. I'm I'm quickly despondent when it comes to this game. I'm pretty sure our season. Here is done. Um, in fact, I'm pretty fucking positive our season here is done after this. I was pretty positive it was done at the end of the last episode. Um, we needed that win. That win would have made things a little bit easier. Everything's now on top of us. It's like Colchester United all over again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. On the upside, we have learnt. And that is what the journeyman's all about. If you've got no experience as a manager... You need to learn as we go. And obviously, new game, new rules. All right, Holm clears it, but really poorly to Young. I like that clearance. Go straight back to the person who originally put the cross in. Fantastic clearance there. But yeah. Um, it's trying to find another job now, isn't it, I think, after this. Oh, no. Here we go. It's going to be free. Oh, Gunga's going to get himself sent off. Oh, ref. Please don't. Yeah, thank fuck for that. Jesus. All right. Quick free kick. Medvegi finds Rindmo. Rindmo finds. Fuck me, it's done. It is, it is. It is done. It's all over. It is all over, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think we may have to hand in our resignation after this match. Disappointing. Disappointing start to the season. But as I said, it's all learning curve. It's all learning curve. Let's go with an aggressive. We owe them. I just feel like an aggressive turning is all I can do now. Uh, maybe an assertive. You can still improve. Just maybe I need to be more uh, assertive with the team. Maybe aggressive. Got a few greens there. Um, I think we may make a substitution soon. Apparently they, they're ready to walk through walls. I don't know about that. If they were, then we'd win this game 4-3. And as it is, we've not actually managed to put more than two goals past anyone since we took over. In fact, I think we've only scored five goals since we took over. So I'm not, you know, overly sort of agreeing with what they have to say there. Montero. Svensson. Oh, it puts it just wide again. Just wide. It will be disappointing if we don't manage to stay here with Malmo. If we can't turn this around, but it's just not happening, is it? Right, let's get a tact uh, tactical substitution in. Uh, Hamidi, you've been playing like dog shit, so let's get on Pearson. Yeah, let's get on Pearson. Nielsen, you've not been playing too well. Svensson's already been playing poorly. Let's get Zekovic on. Home, despite his last match, again playing poorly, just inconsistent. Um, and obviously, a lack of true team leader has not really helped. Hopefully, in the next place we go to, we'll be able to pick up a team leader or have someone there who already is. That's, that is tart, but it's nice. It's lovely. Refreshing. Oh. Zekovic finds Pettersson. Pettersson finds oh, Zadran with a good effort there. Should have put it in the back of the net really, but Montero over cross. It's nothing. Nothing. You can, <laughs> you can tell where I'm from. Nothing, mate. In it. Right. Come on. They're making a substitution. Always nice when they bring on fresh legs. Always nice. Oh god, I feel like it's going to be four. I feel like it's going to be four. Uh, get the ball away, get the ball away. We've still got 13 minutes to score four goals. It's fine. It's doable. It's doable. It's easy. I mean, that's just like... It's nothing, is it? You know... 12 minutes to score four goals. <laughs> Easy peasy. We can do that. Demand more. Come on. More. And I'm accidentally hitting fucking advertising coordinates in the back here. I don't care about Pro Direct. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, and Gunga is injured. Oh well. Let's confirm the changes. No changes to make. We've got no subs left. It looks like our time here in Sweden is going to be coming to an end. A little bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing. And then so is my. Um, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking. I, I said it was going to be four, didn't I? I said it was going to be four. I said it's going to be four. And what was it? Still time for five. Still time for five. Uh, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it again. So there's things to be learnt. There are things to be learnt. Wherever we are next. Things to learn. Things to do. Back of Leiden. Person. Person. Finds no one. I was hoping for a last, last gasp goal. Just to... You know, a little consolation. Zekovic. Montero. Yeah. <laughs> oh, five. Yeah. 
Oh, why am I smiling? Why am I smiling at this? This is not good. It's not good at all. All right, let's skip. Let's skip. Let's skip. Let's get the game done with. Let's hand in our resignation if we haven't been fired. That is, I'd like to get the resignation in so it doesn't appear on our record that we got fired. <laughs> oh, it's going to be. Oh, I thought that was going to be six for a minute there. It was just rubbing salt into the wound. Would have been. Oh no, no. It would have been horrible. It would have been horrible if it was six. Just blow it up, ref. It's, it's painful enough. Oh. Aggressive. I'm far from pleased. Who's stressed? Pedersen. You're a cunt, mate. That's all there is to it. Now, I want to have a quick look at the rules. I just thought to myself, it's all about avoiding automatic relegation. It doesn't actually say we've been relegated yet. It doesn't actually say we've been relegated yet. Let's have a look at the rules. Relegation. Bottom two teams are relegated. What? So wait, so the bottom two teams are relegated. And then this one goes through for... Oh dear, oh dear. So we've got left, we've got Kvambi. It's one of our games and Rapper, isn't it? Kvambi and Rapper. Kvambi next, Rapper next. So for big Kvambi... It's not poten it's potentially not all over. It's potentially not all over. Um... We would have to still win three games because we'd have to beat the other team in the playoff. But there's a good chance here. Only four points in a potential six. We beat Kvambi. Uh We go one point behind Kvambi. Then Sales. Well, it depends what they do. <laughs> Can we maybe save ourselves? That's the question now. Ah, oh, no comment on Mads Pedersen. He's been winding me up. And winding me up saying rotten. Gonna go reach his yellow card limit. Shit. Right, guys. Um, I think we're gonna play the Kafambi game in the next episode. I can hear the little one rousing over there. And I've not had a cuddle yet since I got home because she's been asleep. So I'm looking forward to a little cuddle. Um, but yeah. Obviously, if you have enjoyed today's episode, I don't know why you would have done. Um, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. If you think we need to sort of sank out with the tactics, do you think we can still got a chance here? Uh, Gunga's injured as well as suspended. Always helpful. I mean, I suppose we're going to get him at least there together. Um, do we think we stand a chance? That is the question. That is the question for you in the comments. Uh, do we actually have a chance of staying up? And if we do stay up, do we stay here? Um, <laughs> I, I, I know we've only been here like three months well not even that I've been here two months I think but um, do we want a more conventional league when I say conventional what I mean is do we want one that actually plays over the winter and into spring or do we want to stay somewhere that plays over the summer I mean over the summer seems really weird to me anyway but um, yeah let me know in the comments below and I will see you when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye.